Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining today's webinar. My name is Lisanne Lottring and I am an account manager here at Cardiolog Analytics. I'll go ahead and kick things off. Today's webinar is about enhancing SharePoint with advanced insights, the power of augmented analytics. I have really good news for everyone attending this webinar. Congratulations, because Cardiolog Analytics is giving away a free trial to all attendees of our augmented analytics solution. We will be in touch with all of you after this webinar to set up that free evaluation for you. So let's begin with a bit of housekeeping. This webinar is being recorded. If you want to share this with a colleague, we'll go ahead and send an email with the recording after today's session. And of course, if you have any questions, please send them through the questions box within the GoToWebinar panel, and we'll leave some time towards the end for Q&A. You can also connect with us on X with the handle at Cardiolog. In regards to the agenda for today's webinar, we'll start out with a very short introduction. I will talk a bit about Cardiolog Analytics and who we are and then go into detail about what augmented analytics is and how organizations can leverage it to drive SharePoint adoption and user productivity. I'll then hop into the demo environment and show you augmented analytics capabilities and also walk you through how you can not only track user activity in SharePoint, but also how to leverage our engagement solution to drive SharePoint adoption and user productivity and take advantage of the features. And at the end, we'll be taking some Q&A, so feel free to send your questions throughout the course of the presentation. So I'll start off with a brief introduction about who we are. Cardiolog, Cardiolog Analytics has been around for about 19 years now, since 2005. We are based out of Boston. And over the past 19 years, we've been focused on analytics and engagement designed for SharePoint, Teams, Microsoft Office 365. Our flagship solution is Cardiolog Analytics, and it's built specifically for internal platforms, including all versions of SharePoint from 2013 to 2019, as well as SharePoint Online, SharePoint Subscription Edition, Microsoft Teams, OneDrive Exchange, Viva Engage, formerly known as Yammer. Basically, our solution is available both on-prem and as a SaaS version based on Power BI. Our goal is to help our customers constantly improve Microsoft 365 based on how it's being used. So there are four pillars that we talk to our customers about. The first is monitor which is tracking the usage within SharePoint and Teams and OneDrive and Exchange. And the second is engaging users, asking them what their needs are, what their pain points are, and what's not working for them. Then the next pillar is to enhance. We want to make sure that we are constantly improving SharePoint and Teams and so on, based on those two pillars. So the idea is to have actionable metrics which allow us to constantly make Microsoft 365 platforms better for our users. And then finally the last pillar is securing Microsoft 365 by enforcing permissions and access, identifying breaches of information and securing confidential data. Let's get into our topic today by first talking about what augmented analytics is. So generating insights from data remains a huge challenge for almost all businesses. And augmented analytics pinpoints those problematic areas on the SharePoint page so you can take action based on the data. Augmented analytics is a cutting edge approach to data analysis that leverages advanced technologies like machine learning and artificial intelligence to enhance the data exploration and decision making process. Unlike traditional analytics, which often requires a high degree of technical expertise, augmented analytics aims to simplify data analysis by 
automating complex tasks, uncovering insights and promoting natural language interfaces for users to interact with the data effortlessly. It empowers organizations to derive actionable insights from their data and make informed decisions, drive innovation more effectively, ultimately leading to improved business outcomes. So how does it work? Augmented Analytics uses AI and machine learning techniques to present to business people those insights that are most important to them. Those meaningful insights take you step by step in order to improve your site or your content. Augmented Analytics will transform how analytics is being consumed. So with that all said, let's hop straight into a demo and I'll show you a little bit more. Augmented Analytics drives SharePoint adoption and uses productivity with SaaS-based data analytics maps and insights. What's really neat about Augmented Analytics is that the insights are actionable because it connects directly to an action you can take to solve a problem on the platform. These actionable insights are extremely helpful because they serve as a guiding light for what you should prioritize on your platform to help drive business productivity. And visualizing the track data in different formats helps with easy interpretation and analysis. Let me show you. With Augmented Analytics, you can take here really any content within SharePoint, and then we'll add a few layers. You'll first be able to see each and every click performed on the page. You can see around most of the buttons or headers or images, we have most of our clicks. You can see a few random ones also over the white area. But if you prefer to see button clicks by number, you can also click here on object. And then here, if I hover over each of these links, for example, or images, we'll see the total clicks on that link or that image so we can see the aggregated total links on each link button or the actual clicks or points. By analyzing click patterns, administrators can identify which features are most used, how intuitive the navigation is, and also whether certain content is engaging or overlooked even. They can also guide content updates, layout changes, and the development of new features and content that align more with their users' preferences and needs. Detailed click tracking can help to quickly identify and resolve issues. For example, if many users click on a non-functional link, or if there's a sudden drop in engagement with a specific page, the administrator or the manager can investigate and rectify these issues promptly. We can also visualize this as a heat map, which will emphasize even more where the hotspots on the page are, for example. And let's have a look here at the scroll map. This will show if that maybe content is not being viewed due to its placement on the page, and therefore it can be moved more towards the top in order to resurface it, if it's important content that you need to be visible to your users. Similar to the Cardiolog Analytics data, you have in the reports, you can also use different kinds of filters here with this data. Let me show you a couple of examples. So of course you can see interaction from specific date ranges. You can see data from yesterday or last week, for example. Or you can customize different dates that you wanna see data for. Long-term analysis of click trends can inform strategic decisions about the evolution of the SharePoint environment, helping organizations align their SharePoint strategy with actual user needs and business goals. 
Other filters will include things like filtering by department, or even location. or other attributes that you might want to use. It is valuable to see what part of the page, such as this home page, is being accessed or used by different departments, for example. Understanding how different departments interact with the SharePoint homepage enables targeted customization, improved navigation, and enhanced collaboration, ultimately leading to a more effective and a more user-centric digital workspace. Another layer here are the insights. Because we know now um, not only where they clicked on this page, but also their next pages, we are trying to help customers not just get the data. For example, a thousand clicks and so forth, but actually to add some insights like you can see here as well. So here, for example, we are saying 74% um, of visitors who clicked on this link to view the list of all articles, clicked on the third article on the next page, add a link, that's the insight, that's the recommendation, add a link to it directly on the home page and save up to 104 minutes a week. The idea with these insights is to go one step beyond just the raw data of the number of clicks, but to give additional insights for our customers on where they might want to take a little more notice and suggestions on how they can improve different areas of the page. Again, augmented analytics transforms how analytics can be built, consumed, and shared. Now I want to hop into Cardiolog Engage. So in Cardiolog Engage, I want to show you how this amazing tool uses all of these insights and data that I've just shown you to actually take action to drive productivity, collaboration, and consumption in all those different environments, and also get great valuable insights but this time directly from the users. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a new campaign. And then we will get to the goal section. So there are two main ways in which you can use the tool. You can create a campaign from scratch where you can define the audience and the channel and so on completely from scratch. But we also have some pre-canned campaigns based on common use cases from our customers. So for example, promoting a page or asking people for feedback. Around maybe search. Um, so you have some pre-built campaigns. So if you click on one of these, it will start to build that particular campaign for you and we'll fill out those details for you based on the goal you've selected. But I want to show you how to build a, a campaign from scratch. So your first step would be to choose the audience. Do I want to interact with everyone? Maybe bombard everyone with a, a quick message about a new blog post that is important for them to see or Maybe I want to create my own group. I want a specific user profile, everyone belonging in that group, or general usage. Or maybe I want to target all of those newbies, everyone who did not view a specific page in ever, or maybe in the last month. Maybe I want to target all users who belong to a specific department in SharePoint or a specific team in Teams. So I don't want to bombard everyone with this message. I want to send a very specific message to a very specific audience based on the insights that I'm getting from Cardiolog Engage and Augmented Analytics. Next would be choosing a channel. Do I want to send them a quick text message? Maybe a quick pop-up right 
on the SharePoint page as a header or footer with a link to new content that I've seen that they haven't accessed yet. That's really important or I see it's um, on the heat map, it's at the bottom and it hasn't been accessed. So I want to make sure that people are actually interacting with that content. So I'll send them a quick link to that. Maybe as an email or maybe right within Teams, it will show up as a channel in Teams. So next would be the design. Um, please, whatever the case may be, a call to action could be um, if I invite them to training, for example, maybe they can RSVP, they can just confirm that they've received the message. Maybe there should be no call to action. Maybe if I'm asking a question, it could be an open question. So it really depends on what you are trying to achieve. And then the last step would be that trigger. Do I want to send that message immediately? Do I want to schedule it to be sent at a specific date and time, whether it's your time zone or the user's time zone or the time zone in that particular department? Maybe you have a global office and different departments are stationed in different places globally. And then the last step would be then to go ahead and launch that campaign. And then the right message will get to the right user and the right message will be based on those insights that I've shown you. Let me go back to our presentation. So um, if you have any questions, please send us those questions that you have in the GoToWebinar questions box. I see that I already have a question from Anil. Um, Anil, um, Anil is just saying, is uh, really happy to hear about the free trial. Um, yes, so we will be sending you, um, I'll be reaching out to all of our attendees in the next few days and we'll get your details and launch a support ticket for our support team to contact you to set that up for you. Um, I also have a question here from Dora. Uh, are your solutions available for purchase in AppSource? Uh, yes, uh, both the solutions that I've shown you today, the, anal the augmented analytics and the engagement solution are all available in the Microsoft um, in Microsoft App Source. So you can find it there, you can purchase it directly from there, or you can actually, I wanna go to the next page where you can see our contact details, or you can contact us directly and we can help you if you have any questions or set anything up. Um, I have one more question here from Raj. Does it take a lot of time to deploy? So what's neat about this tool is it's designed for SharePoint, so there's no need for customization when you want to deploy. With our setup with it, you can get it up and running within an hour and already start to collect data and collect those actionable insights. So I'm going to wrap up our session today. As a reminder, we will be sending out a recording in the next few days for you to share with your colleagues who are maybe unable to attend. And we invite you to visit us at cardiologanalytics.com to book your free demo of Cardiolog Analytics. So we can also show you our analytics capabilities for SharePoint, Viva Engage, also Teams, OneDrive and Exchange. You can also reach us on X. And for more information and helpful tips, you can check out our blog at blog.inclock.com. And for general information or for more information about anything, you can contact us at info at So a big thank you to everyone who joined me today. And we'll be in touch to set up that free trial for all of you guys who attended of our augmented analytics solution that I've shown you. <coughs> so I'll be in touch with all of you shortly. So have a good rest of your day and thank you for attending.